Welcome back. According to the NAACP, black families are 75% more likely to live near toxic oil and gas facilities. And the pollutants from these facilities, they're linked to cancer, asthma, and even birth defects. Isha Clark says this is not only a coincidence, but another sign of environmental racism. That's why the 70-year-old formed the nonprofit Youth vs. Apocalypse and is determined to change that course. RJ Marquez has the story. I'm actually interested to hear what is the... This may look like a lighthearted conversation among teenagers, but Isha Clark and Anaya Butler have bigger things on their mind. What I am fighting for is a world where all people can truly thrive. Isha Clark founded Youth vs. Apocalypse, a youth-run nonprofit that's striving not only to reverse climate change, but the environmental injustices that caused it. Environmental injustice and environmental racism specifically is when communities of color are targeted with pollution. That looks like refineries and communities of color. Another example of environmental injustices resides in Detroit, where higher rates of asthma has been documented among minority children. It's believed those numbers are connected directly to their polluted neighborhoods built alongside busy interstates. Our future is now becoming a possibility as we continue to do nothing, you know, about climate change. That's why Youth versus Apocalypse has been mobilizing young people to make a difference. Sometimes that looks like mass protests or social media campaigns, public board meetings, and making public comment. We led climate strikes with over 30,000 people. Last year, they released an EP of their work. Fist in the air, voices loud, but somehow we are still not heard. You don't have to, you know, speak in front of millions of people to be an activist just fight for our future. The voices from Youth versus Apocalypse and other climate activist groups are being heard. California Representative Raul Ruiz has backed New Jersey Senator Cory Booker in a new piece of legislation to fight environmental injustice. The goal is to hold federal agencies accountable for environmental hazards impacting communities. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News.